Hi there, Alejo here from the marketing team at Suku. Today I wanted to make a uh, kind of a quick and dirty video to show you what to expect when minting NFTs on Twitter, which is a feature that we are very excited about and that you might have already seen on Twitter. But if not, you will probably start seeing it uh, more fre frequently soon. And so I wanted to show you how to do it, how to manage those NFTs, and a couple more other things. So first, how to mint NFTs on Twitter using Sukulis, which is the Twitter bot that we created and makes everything happen. Uh, collecting those NFTs in the Suku wallet, which is our soon to be launched Web3 wallet. And I'll, you know, more on that in a minute. And then how to connect the wallet to, for example, OpenSea, in case you wanted to list one of those NFTs. So the caveat here is that the Suku wallet hasn't been officially released yet, right? It's in beta stage. It's going through the auditing process as we speak right now, but you should use it at your own risk until the official release, okay? Having said that, let's get started. Okay, so for this demo, we're gonna mint an NFT from a campaign that Fijify and Blockster launched to, in this case, promote their participation in the NF conference in Lisbon this year. Uh, in this case, the NFT, can be redeemed for a physical product at Fijify store, which is very, very cool. Um, but what's mind blowing about this technology that we created, in my opinion, is that anyone on Twitter, regarding if they have a crypto wallet ready or not, can mint and collect NFTs. Fantastic. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and mint the NFT. You'll see how easy this is. The instructions are right here. Claim by tweeting the following. So we're gonna open this up. We need to do nothing other than just posting the tweet that in this case, Blockster and Fijify wanted uh, me to post to promote the campaign, okay? There we go. So the moment that you post the tweet, Sukudes, which is our Twitter bot that brings you know, Web3 functionalities to Twitter, is going to first check whether there is a crypto wallet already associated with my Twitter handle. Um, because there is no wallet associated with my Twitter account, it will create one for me. Then it will mint the NFT and drop it in my new Suku wallet. Isn't that cool? Okay, so the process shouldn't take more than a minute. And in the meantime, what we're gonna do is go ahead and install the Suku wallet extension to collect our just newly NFT. So installing the Suku wallet extension is very, very simple. All we need to do is go to extension.suku.world. That will take us to the Chrome Web Store, to the Suku wallet's uh, profile. In this case, it's called Suku Web3 Connect, but by the moment you're watching this video, it'll very likely uh, be called Suku wallets already. Okay, so don't forget about this. This is the profile. All you need to do is add to Chrome. This will add the um, Suku wallet extension to your browser. So let's go ahead and click there. There we go. It's downloading and shouldn't take more than 10 seconds to get added to your browser. And there we go. Suku wallet has been added to Chrome. Awesome. Okay, so now that the wallet extension has been installed in our browser, I'm gonna pin it so that it stays up there. I'm gonna click on the wallet extension and voila, Suku wallets. All we need to do is log in with our Twitter account and that's it. Forget about onboarding processes, uh, seed phases, uh, and that's it. We should be already logged in into the Suku wallet. Alejo Suku, that is my handle, so welcome myself. Um, and if everything went right in the collectibles um, tab, we should see the Fijify NFT uh, in our wallet. Isn't that cool? So the last thing that I wanted to show you is how easy it is with a Suku wallet to connect to adapt decentralized applications. In this case, we're gonna connect to OpenSea. Um, for instance, in case that you want to list, sell your, uh, your newly minted NFT from Fijify and Blockster, okay? So we're gonna close this. Let me just close this tab here. Let's go back to our Suku wallet. And we have a um, quick access to OpenSea right here. So let's click here. Suku wallet uses Wallet Connect to connect to the centralized applications, uh, dApps. And all we need to do is just click on Wallet Connect and down here you'll see, you should see a big button, a green button that says connect, to, connect with Suku. We click on the button, um, we approve. And that's it. 
we're connected to OpenSea. Oh, actually we need to confirm, yeah, the message. That's it, we're connected to OpenSea. Now, if you wanted to actually list one of your NFTs uh, on OpenSea, one of the NFTs that you have in your Super Wallet, you will need some crypto to pay for the transactions. And for that, you will have to need send some crypto to your Super Wallet, right? And for that, you will need a crypto address to send it to. If you click up here in the, in the account profile, you will see your you know, alphanumeric crypto address that you can copy with just one click down here. It's pretty easy. Now, remember what I told you a few minutes ago. The Suku Wallet hasn't been officially released yet. It's going through uh, the um, auditing process, still in beta. So you see it at your own risk. Having said that, we are done. We went through the process of minting NFTs on Twitter using uh, Suku Days or Twitterbot, um, collecting the NFTs on the Suku Wallet that we installed as an extension and connecting the Suku Wallet to OpenSea in just a few clicks. I hope it was instructive. Um, you know, stay tuned for the official release of the Suku Wallet. We're very excited about it. Um, tell us what you think um, and um, follow us on Twitter. Join our Discord, our Telegram to be one of the first to know when we launch it. And thank you very much.